Our VR software has five different settings you can manipulate to cater to your patients. The first is MFBF, which allows you to selectively display targets in each eye. We have horizontal vergence, which allows you to add a virtual base in or base out prism, vertical vergence for adding base up or base down prism, and torsion, which allows you to compensate for cyclotropia. Lastly, we have contrast, brightness, and blur, which can be adjusted in each individual eye. All of these settings can be used across all of our activities. In this example, we're going to use Icebreaker. In Icebreaker, the objective is to break the green ice cubes with your ice picks. There's an ice bath in front of you here. This is where the ice cubes spawn. I went ahead and split the view by clicking the button on the top center of the screen. You can toggle this to show what each eye sees. You can start the game by pressing the easy, medium, or hard button here. I'm going to go ahead and start it on easy mode. Notice that with our default settings, you see the ice cubes appearing in both eyes. But if we turn on our MFBF settings, you can choose which is the target or dominant eye. We're going to choose the left eye as the target eye here. Notice that now the ice cubes are only appearing in the left eye and the right eye does not see the ice cubes. Conversely, we can set the dominant eye to the right eye as well. Our MFBF feature is designed for anti-suppression in order to work on the less dominant eye as well as promoting fusion by making both eyes work together. I'm going to change back the MFBF settings back to both so that you can see the objects in both eyes again. And we'll move on to the horizontal vergence settings. In our vergence settings, we have the ability to set a fixed diopter value or oscillate the diopter value with a smooth or jump duction. Let's get into how to change these settings. Using the mouse, I can click and drag the slider back and forth to compensate for an eye turn. This can be set from 20 diopters base in to 20 diopters base out. I can also click on the BI and BO buttons located below the slider to increment by a quarter of a diopter. Or I can manually type in the exact diopter value by hand in the input box here and press enter to apply. There's also a reset button located on the top right corner of this setting to set all the values back to default. Now we'll look at the oscillation settings. We can click on the smooth or jump buttons to enable it. We can also enter a desired minimum and maximum diopters, cycle time, which is the time it takes for it to oscillate from the minimum to the maximum, and the jump size if you're using jump ductions. Let's go ahead and choose the smooth ductions first. I'll set the minimum as 10 diopters base in and the maximum as 10 diopters base out. As a quick side note, it is important to remember that base in is represented as a negative value and base out is a positive value. Moving on to cycle time, I'll leave that as 4 seconds. And to start the oscillation, we click the toggle and you'll notice it turns green and it will say oscillation on. Notice now the system is oscillating automatically for you, without having to manually drag the slider. Now let's take a look at what the jump duction looks like. We'll go back to the settings and switch from smooth to jump. And we'll also change the jump size to four diopters so we can see it more clearly. Now you can see that instead of moving in a smooth motion, the diopters are jumping in increments. We'll go ahead and click the reset button to turn off all the oscillations and set all the settings back to default. Let's take a look at our next setting. Vertical Vergences. You can see that it's similar to their horizontal vergences. We have the same sliders and buttons, except now we have two sets of sliders, one for each eye. When I drag the slider for the left eye, you'll notice that it only affects the base up and base down of the left eye. And similarly, when I drag the slider for the right eye, it only affects the right. All the oscillation settings are still available as well, and can be used in the same manner as the horizontal vergences. Our next setting is the torsion settings. This allows us to simulate hypo and hyper torsion, or the rotation of the eye. As I drag the torsion slider, you can see how it affects the eye. And just like before, the buttons and oscillation features are available as well. To summarize, our vergence and torsion settings allow you to compensate for eye turns and work on the user's ability to converge and diverge with fixed and oscillating prisms. 
Our last feature is the Amblyopia settings. This allows us to adjust the contrast, brightness, and blur of each eye. Simply click the slider and drag accordingly. You can drag the slider for the left eye, or the right eye, or both. Simply click the reset button to change all the settings back to default. That concludes all of our settings. Remember that these vision therapy settings are available for all of our activities, 